Well, we know the mark that Latinos have on the film industry, right? But how about theater? The Chicago Latino Theater Festival is now in its second year. It was such a success last year, they had to bring it back. Joining us to tell us a little bit more about it are Mirna Salazar. She's a co-founder of Destinos and playwright uh, Ricardo Gamboa. His newest production will debut at that festival. So welcome to the two of you. Yes, thank you so very much. Very good. Uh, it's got to feel good to I know am... that it was such a success last year. <laughs> yes, it is. It was incredible, and we're looking to have even a bigger splash this year. I just wanted to tell you that okay. it is uh, an organization co-founded uh, as the Chicago Latino Theater Alliance that produces Destinos. Okay. Destinos is the festival and this is what we're trying to, to talk about it today. And Destinos means destination yeah. and it means destiny. Okay. So. And the whole idea is to bring theater, to make it more accessible for people. Yes, by all means. It is actually uh, one of the, we aim to amplify the voices of Latino artists, mm -hmm. uh, give them the platform where they can, where their work can be showcased, and also to, to a wider audience and to bring those audiences to marquee theaters that are collaborating with, okay. the, uh, with CLATA, the Chicago Latino Theater Alliance, and giving them the opportunity to, uh, to just perform wonderful artistic uh, stories uh, on stage. Enter right here. <laughs> and this, this is one of our gem in our community. Yeah, uh, he Ricardo is. Uh, Gamboa is not only an actor, but a playwright, a producer, a filmmaker. He's a man of all seasons. And, and I've I'll seen one of his shows, which oh. was excellent. You did such a wonderful, wonderful job. Uh, and I know that this is going to be no, no different. Um, I want to show some video of one of your productions that you did a while ago. It's called A Film for My Father. This is not the one that's going to debut. Um, at the festival, uh, but it is something that you've worked on. The one that will debut, tell me about that one. Though. Yeah, I mean, I think a film for my father and mm -hmm. the real life adventures of Jimmy de las Rosas are, you know, both in common and that it's a lot of my work that focuses on telling Chicago Latino stories and presenting them for Chicago Latino audiences. So the real life adventures of Jimmy de las Rosas will premiere at the Destino Theater Festival on October 11th. Wow. And it's about Jimmy, a Mexican American boy on the south side of Chicago in Little Village, and he can move things with his mind. And it takes place during a summer when uh, people are disappearing from the hood. And so when his uh, undocumented immigrant mother disappears, he decides to go find out where, use his powers to find where the people oh are being gosh, okay. taken. And so he teams up with a black sibling duo uh, and his uh, trans neighbor to find out, you know, to rescue the, the disappeared. And you make it very timely and obviously you really highlight your neighborhood. Yeah. Yes. I, mean, I think that's what's great about the festival, right, is that it provides a space not just for international artists or national, you know, mm -hmm. national artists, which we see so often celebrated in Chicago, but also for emergent local Chicago voices to be alongside them yeah. and to be highlighted. It's, it's a wonderful opportunity. Ricardo being one part of it, but there's so much more, Mirna. Uh, I think my producer was telling me about Circo Colombia. Is that what it, how it's... Circo spread? Colombia is coming directly from Colombia, okay. and that's a collaboration with the Shakespeare Theater. And it is a, a cabaret extravaganza of, cir uh, of circus and acrobats and uh, acrobatic, acrobatics and dance and music I and think Latinos. We're at a little bit of video and I there. think in Latinos and Latinos love to uh, to uh, to be entertained through music. Uh, and it will be at the uh, at the Shakespeare the tent, which is a magnificent venue because it's by it, Navy Pier. It's, yeah. by, it's at Navy Pier. And uh, we are bringing also from Argentina, Grupo Humo, uh, which is uh, Quiero Decir Te Amo, I Want to Say I Love You, which is uh, correspondence exchanged by two women and the men that love them both. Uh, we've got um, from uh, um, Costa Rica, El Patio, and it's uh, two men exploring their, uh, what it is to be men in society's demand, uh, how society demands for them to be men and examining masculinity. The other one that we're bringing is one from Puerto Rico, Luna de Cristal. Uh, it's a, a company that's been around over 25 years, and they do uh, anything that has to do with, with issues pertaining to uh, family and dysfunctional families. Mm -hmm. And that one has a very deep-rooted um, issue on, 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 on domestic abuse. We've got Musas. We've got, that, that's, we've got um, <laughs> Musas and that's from Puerto Rico, from Mexico. We're also bringing in collaboration with the Goodman Theater, uh, Mendoza. And Mendoza is setting the, it's based on Shakespeare Macbeth, 
but it's set in the, Amer in the Mexican Revolution of 1910. The audience will experience a Corona Extra, and also the one of the actors is a live hen on stage. Wow! Uh, I don't think so, I've ever seen that before, yes, Mirna. And, um, and Pretty Woman, which is based on the film of Pretty Woman, and that examines the issue of transgender. Okay. And it's a one-man show with explosive music uh, and themes that deal with a transgender, what is to be transgender, Mexican, indigenous, and brown. Are the productions mainly in English or is it kind of a mix of Spanish, the, English? Uh, uh, the local productions, some of them are in English with okay. sprinkles in Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. And the, uh, all of the international productions will be are in Spanish, subtitled in English. Okay, let's get the information up on the screen as to when you can take advantage of Destinos and some of the productions that are coming in. There's a graphic right there. It's gonna run until November 4th, so it starts, my vision isn't what on it the used 20th, to be, September on the 20th. September 20th. Until November and 4th. And there is something that we would like the audience and everybody that's seeing your program is to do hashtag Destinos Fest, get the conversation going. We want those theaters and those people to come and really connect yeah, and with really the beautiful, it. the wonderful artis artistry of Latinos. Okay. Y me gustaría good. decirlo en español, pero no importa. <laughs> <laughs> I think the people watching might understand. Yes. Thank you, guys. I'm one of the ones that see adelante. So. Thank you so much. Yes. We really appreciate it. And good luck to Thank you. you. You don't need my luck because <laughs> you, you, you got it. You're so good and so talented, Thank Ricardo. You. So we appreciate yes. your work. Thank okay. You.